Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Friday the 26th, and today was a stunningly beautiful day weather-wise, absolutely, probably couldn't ask for a better day. Started off a smidgen chilly, just turned gorgeous all day long, beautiful sun, a few wispy clouds in the sky and that, and then it got a little bit chilly at night, but not bad. I was out today wearing my shorts, a short sleeve shirt I've got on right now and never needed a jacket once. It was absolutely just beautiful. Um, had some things around the house here I had to get done. Had a friend come by. We ended up watching um, an old movie, one of my old favorites called Strange Days. It's a really kind of a twisted, strange little movie. Watched it and that. And then we ended up running up to Des Moines together, hanging out. I was able to, um, I had to run by my flea market booth and that. I was going to do that stuff Wednesday. Put it off for today because the two of us were going up there together and kind of I guess give myself Wednesday back and not have to waste the drive up twice. End up going down, eating at one of my favorite Chinese restaurants up there in Des Moines. I absolutely had just a really good meal. They've got really good food. I think it's possibly changed um, owners or at least management uh, staff because they've got a few different things on the menu. And they've got a much bigger um, sushi um, choice. It's not high-end sushi by any means. It's all like California rolls and shit like that. But it's pretty good for what you get. I mean, it's like 11 bucks for buffet buck 50 for drinks so it wasn't too bad so it was like 27 bucks like that well a tip you're like 30 you know i don't know 34 bucks where the hell it is with tip in there so definitely um with two people it's not bad a lot of food just decent food they have a nice dessert uh, buffet a lot of fruits vegetables that kind of stuff and then again they got things like crawfish they've got a really nice baked um sea bass absolutely delicious sea bass so that kind of stuff um also Went through, like I said, hit the um, antique booth, set up a handful of stuff, brought in a couple more boxes of things to drop off there. Still not doing great there. I'm selling a few things, but just not not selling the volume I need to justify having it yet. I'm still kind of up in the air, hoping it spins around a little bit, but it hasn't yet. So not really sure how to get that moving. I mean, I'm not there to help promote it, not there to help sell stuff. So I don't really know how to do because I'm a big fan of... A lot of times people don't buy things unless they need it and nothing I have there is stuff they need. It's all going to be stuff they want and stuff they want is stuff you have to sell them. You got to kind of help sell the sizzle, not the steak. So, and when no, I'm not there, obviously the people running the flea market, they're not going to be over my booth trying to help sell stuff because they have no benefit in that fact at all. So definitely still working on trying to figure out how to make that booth make me money, but who knows? We'll see what happens. I'm going to take up. I was going to do it this trip, and when I was going with a friend, it's like taking that much time. I've got three more boxes of stuff to take up. I'm going to actually pack up a bunch of my stuff that's been there for a while and then get it out of there and re basically stock. Hopefully, I can kind of find stuff he'll want a little more. I did have a good run this time. Sold a lot of my old vintage kids' toys, like the little old um, Play School popper and that kind of different things. I was pretty excited to get that stuff out of there. Also, I sold a um, juicer that my ex was wanting forever. They're like a couple hundred bucks. Um, they're on sale sometimes for like 150 bucks. And I hadn't really want to buy her one because I didn't know she was going to use it. Talking to a buddy of mine, um, his wife had bought one and they used it like twice. Never used it again. And he told me to take it out of the house because he'd never seen himself throwing it away. They're not yard sale people, so they'd never sell it at yard sale. So I took it home. It was here, oh, a couple years before she left, maybe three years before she left. Never even plugged it in once. So I plugged it in, made sure it worked, took it over there and sold it. Got like 20 bucks out of it. Got nothing out of it. But it's just the fact that it saved me from spending 150, 200 bucks to buy her one that she was never going to use. So definitely that worked out good for me there. So I look at that way. It saved me a couple hundred dollars and I made 20 bucks. So like it's like a $220 savings there. So other than that, just kind of hung around, hit Sam's Club and that. My friend doesn't have a membership or nothing. So I took them by there, kind of showed them different things they had and that kind of stuff. So just kind of, I don't know, showed some different little places I like to, you know, shop there at times stuff. Kind of hung around, ran around another antique um, booth thing and stuff, or antique store, I guess, whatever. Uh, they ended up finding a couple um, antique things they wanted. They found a handful of stuff out of my own booth, out of the shop there. So definitely just a good time. So other than that, not a lot going on today. Just kind of, I guess, I had a rest day for no running with the marathon coming up Sunday. So I'm definitely kind of feeling that. As of right now, it stands like um, my buddy and I are going to run up to Des Moines again tomorrow, which to get our packets and stuff early. Hadn't intended on doing that, but I was going to get my packets today and when I was up there, and I didn't really feel like doing that because I figured we had to go get them together Sunday, and I can't pick his up. He can't pick mine up, that kind of thing. So now that I realize he's going tomorrow, I have to go with him tomorrow, or I have to like 
take a chance of missing getting my packet Sunday morning because he'll want to get there later and then I might not get there in time. So had I known he was going tomorrow, I would have swung by today, picked up my packet and that kind of thing. So, But since I'm going with him tomorrow, I'm going to skip uh, the Alvia flea market. I was going to go sell stuff there just because it's not worth setting up. He's wanting to leave by noon. So I figure I'll get up in the morning, get some stuff done, probably move out a couple of the rattly things that are in my van that make a lot of noise. I was going to sell at the flea market and basically head up to Otumwa, run up from there to Des Moines. I'll probably spend the night at his place also in Otumwa tomorrow night. That way I can just get up in the morning and get to Des Moines by like 6.30 or so in the morning. So other than that, not much going on. So talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day and wish me luck Sunday.